My name's Callum Lee. And I'm Rachel Last. We're currently undertaking a clerkship here at Property Partners on the Sunshine Coast. Property Partners is proud to be a participant in the National Electronic Conveyancing System. We've produced the following short presentation to give you an overview of electronic or e-conveyancing and how it differs from the traditional method. What is conveyancing? Conveyance is a legal term given to the transfer or disposition of an interest in land. The most common form of conveyance is that between a buyer and a seller of residential land, however other forms do exist. The focus should remain for this presentation though on a buyer and a seller of residential land. The rules governing conveyancing vary between all the states of Australia, however they are generally similar. In Queensland, the Land Titles Act, the Property Law Act and the Land Sales Act govern the rights and obligations of the parties and provide avenues for legislative involvement. Traditionally, conveyancing is done between multiple parties, often four or more. These represent the buyer, the seller, the incoming and outgoing mortgagees. These transactions are largely paper-based and they require all parties to attend settlement or to arrange an agency to attend settlement on their behalf. Various documents are required to complete settlement, including certificates of title, transfers, an incoming mortgage and a release of mortgage, as well as any bank checks required. Once settlement is completed, the buyer or their mortgagee lodges any instruments with the, with the titles registry. In Queensland, it is administered by the Department of Natural Resources and Mines. An instrument is basically any document which has now been expanded to include electronic conveyancing documents. So what is e-conveyancing? E-conveyancing in Australia is the legislative creature of the National Electronic Conveyancing System, or NECS, a COAG initiative to create a uniform system of electronic transactions for the conveyance of interest in land. In Queensland, the Electronic Conveyancing National or Queensland Act 2013 adopts the national law. However, whilst the majority of states have accepted this legislation as the authority on e-conveyancing, Titling and the transfer of interest in lands remains the remit of the individual states. Property Exchange Australia, or PEXA, provides the platform through which all transactions will be completed. E-conveyancing will simplify and accelerate the conveyancing process. An electronic site will be created for each property transaction where users can share, sign and certify the documents needed. The electronic transaction will not impact some aspects of the conveyancing process though, such as negotiation and preparation of a contract, the inspections of the property, and obtaining a finance approval, just for example. When settlement does occur, PEXA lodges the relevant forms with the applicable land registry, they pay any stamp duty or land taxes owed, and distribute any funds to any third party beneficiaries of the settlement. In Queensland, currently only mortgages, releases of mortgage, caveats, withdrawals of caveats, withdrawals of settlement notices, and settlement notices can be lodged through PEXA. So what about paper? As a program is only in its infancy, there are still some parts of the transaction that have to be completed manually, like the contract. The platform requires that all parties complete the transaction electronically. So if one party does not use PEXA, the transaction has to be completed on paper. Certain title registry forms, such as transfers, property information, and foreign ownership information, are not yet able to be lodged online, and still need to be completed manually. However, these are expected to be available in early 2016. So how is electronic conveyancing different? E-conveyancing differs from traditional paper-based conveyancing in many different ways. Some of these differences include that settlement can be booked electronically, by your solicitors, which will reduce the amount of time spent on phones, thus increasing efficiency and productivity. Another difference is instrument preparation. Through e-conveyancing, these instruments can be prepared electronically rather than paper-based in a common workplace online where all parties have access. As all parties have access to the workplace and can verify documents that have been prepared, errors will be reduced and settlement preparations such as transfer documents, releases of mortgages, mortgages, settlement notices, as well as adjustments, calculations, check directions, they can all be checked. Thirdly, as opposed to your solicitors and banks physically attending settlement, producing bank checks and exchanging documents, this will all occur electronically. Finally, through the use of digital signatures, documents can be lodged in electronic form and processed by the land titles of office electronically, as opposed to physically going to the land titles office to lodge the documents. 
As this new system of conveyancing will all occur electronically, the identification verification processes have been strengthened to avoid land fraud. All reasonable endeavours must be used to ensure that the use of the e-conveyancing system does not result in a greater risk of fraud or error compared to the old paper-based system. In order to do this, your solicitor or conveyancer must verify your identity in a face-to-face -face interview. In this interview, they must be satisfied that you have a reasonable likeness to the person in your photo, photo identification. The minimum documents required that you must present to your interviewer have also been increased in the new e-conveyancing system. For our overseas investors, your identity must be verified by a subscriber to the e-conveyancing workspace or an Australian consular officer. For our clients that are involved in multiple purchases and sales, we will only need to verify your identity once in any two year period. So why is electronic conveyancing different? The need for the e-conveyancing system has been increasingly prominent in recent years in order to bring conveyancing into the 21st century. In a report prepared on behalf of PEXA by PricewaterhouseCoopers, survey results showed that 40% of people in Queensland found the settlement process to be stressful or extremely stressful. The PwC report also found that one in five settlements were delayed, which only contributed to the stress surrounding settlement. Exacerbating the issues of delayed settlements, 14% of the postponed settlements resulted in additional settled property settlement delays, where the seller subsequently had to delay another property settlement until funds were received, creating a knock-on effect. Delays in settlement have been for a number of reasons. The amount is incorrect, the contract details are not consistent, or very commonly, the original title to the property can't be found. The stress of settlement felt by clients was directly attributed to the outdated settlement process and the delays it often caused. E-conveyancing, however, will increase efficiency and certain and certainty in the settlement process which should, in turn, minimise delays and reduce the stress felt by buyers and sellers during settlement. Generally, e-conveyancing is a vastly different system and it has been designed to promote efficiency throughout Australia in property conveyancing. Showtime. So what are the fallbacks, if any, of electronic conveyancing? As with the old paper-based system of conveyancing, the new electronic system has its own fallbacks. The risk of land fraud that existed in the old system still exists, but in a different way. Due to the signing of instruments by digital signature, if that electronic identity is stolen, it would open up the risk of fraud. Despite digital signatures being encrypted data for the use of a particular person, they are a security risk if they fall into the wrong hands. This risk could be minimised by those with digital security... Digital... <laughs> Now we have less room. That's right. So what are the fallbacks of electronic conveyancing, if any? As with the old paper-based system of conveyancing, the new electronic conveyancing system has its own fallbacks. The risk of land fraud that existed with the old system still exists, but in a different way. Due to the signing of documents by digital signature, if that electronic identity is stolen, it would open up a risk of fraud. Despite digital signatures being encrypted data for the use of a particular person, they are a security risk if they fall into the wrong hands. This risk could be minimised by those with digital signatures taking their own security measures. In order to lessen the risk of land fraud, the verification of identity requirements has been strengthened in e-commancing, as we've discussed a little earlier. So what are the strong points of electronic conveyancing? E-conveyancing has many strong points which vastly improve the conveyancing transaction. E-conveyancing has the potential to substantially reduce time delay and error in recording changes to the register. The first major benefit is the efficiency of e-conveyancing as it allows for faster settlements and fewer delays, as well as less time preparing settlement documents. The system also minimises the... Oh, why did I take that out? <coughs> No, so what are the strong points of electronic conveyancing? E-conveyancing has many strong points which vastly improve the conveyancing transaction. 
e-conveyancing has the potential to substantially reduce time delays and error in recording changes to the register. The first major benefit is the efficiency of electronic conveyancing as it allows for faster settlements and fewer delays, as well as less time preparing settlement documents. Secondly, because the system preloads some information from the land titles office, there is less room for human error when inputting data. Your solicitors will also no longer be relying on their phones and faxes as settlement will all be completed online. The new system also improves customer service as settlements can be easily rebooked, settled quicker, and sellers will have access to settlement funds a lot quicker after settlement as there will be no more checks involved. E-conveyancing is safer and there is a reduced risk of land fraud and increased verification of identity procedures. Finally, there is more transparency with e-conveyancing, meaning that all the parties can see the progress of the matter and your solicitors can give you more accurate advice on when settlement will occur. So how will electronic conveyancing affect you? E-conveyancing is safer, faster and more efficient than traditional conveyancing. Your transactions happen in the comfort and security of a nationally regulated platform, allowing for interstate and international transactions without the need for excessive time, effort or expertise. You will no longer need to sign all documents in person, meaning less time in our office and more time property hunting.